other forms of extremism in the liberal line which says for example Islam is in your heart Islam is in your heart you don't have to wear it outside like a show to show people that you are a Muslim it's between you and Allah so if that's the case you don't have to wear hijab you know hijab is a show but Islam is in your heart so you find oftentimes amongst liberal Muslims that those elements which are known in Islam and have been known for the last 1,400 years put aside so women may not wear hijab men may wear short pants which expose their thighs which the Prophet ﷺ forbade oh Islam is in my heart that's another extreme yes the scholars of Islam say Islam begins in the heart that's the birthplace of Islam the heart it is expressed on the tongue and it is acted upon by the limbs by the body parts all of that makes Islam not just one if you only act on the outside but it's not in your heart then what you're a hypocrite you're a person pretending to be a Muslim you do the things that Muslims do but you don't believe of course who knows that that's between you and Allah and if it is in your heart but not externally on your limbs as you claim we have to say that your claim is a false claim because were it really in your heart it would have been manifest on your limbs and what you have or what has happened to you is you have been tricked by Satan into confusing faith and knowledge confusing faith and knowledge because what distinguishes faith from knowledge is action you may have the knowledge as Satan had knowledge of God but without the action and added to it arrogance in the disobedience of God then Allah dis describes him as a disbeliever so that knowledge yes the person say it's in my heart yeah the knowledge is in your heart but the faith no were the faith there you would live it it would be on your actions there's no way that you could reject what Allah and his messenger has commanded you no way